Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, uh, Pat Outdoor Adventure, I'm Pat, nice to meet you. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Trekology uh, UL140, this is the, the camping map that I've been using uh, while I've been out on my hikes and stuff and I think it's absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to show you how, uh, how easy it is to put up and I'll film myself uh, with it in the tent and stuff in a minute because I've also got that up as well. So. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well and it's nice to see you all again. If this is what you're into, please consider subscribing. That would mean a, a lot to me. Uh, and yeah, let's uh, get this out and get on with it. So it does come up, it does come in its own small bag. It weighs, I think, about 1.2 kilos. I don't think it weighs very much. Um, so there, let's just uh, get this sorted for you. Uh, you have to sort of fold it into three before you can roll it up. It's quite, it's quite simple. And uh, it has a built-in foot pump as well, which I really like. Uh, very, very useful. You can use one of those uh, electric lightweight pump things on it. You just put it over the holes with a foot pump and it'll pump it up. Uh, but I like to use a foot pump. It gives you something to do. And it's quite useful, like I said. It's, uh, a nice little useful feature that I like. The only problem, the only gripe that I have with this thing is that you have to hold the flap open with your toe as you're trying to uh, pump it up. Because as you can see, it uh, it gets trapped, so you have to hold it open with your foot, really. Unfortunately, it is what it is, but you know, for the price of it and how lightweight and etc. it is, I can't, I can't grumble. I know that there are also smaller ones, you know, like the Firma Rest, Neo X, Airlight and everything that people have. Um, I don't know how that would be for me, with the size that I am, because I know that they're quite thin. It's alright if you're, you know, three stone wet, but when my leg like weighs like nine stone, <laughs> you know, it's not going to be, it's not going to be the most ideal. So it is something that I am going to look into, but this has got to go first. You know, if I can, you know, get myself down, then I'll definitely consider getting something a bit smaller because I know that they go like minuscule. I've seen how small that they go down to. And uh, one thing that I do struggle when I pack my gear is uh, how um, is how much space this, while it is light, it takes up quite a bit of space. So I struggle for room in a 65 litre bag. Uh, so like, yeah, it's one thing to consider. Another thing that I could do probably is take the uh, the um, the down bag that I have out of its pack and just lie that in the bottom because that might free up some space, which would be quite um, which would be quite useful. So, but yeah. Yeah. They do do a, uh, a UL80, which is sort of like a smaller version of this. It's a bit thinner. I think it's a bit, um, like, I don't think it's as deep. I don't think it's as wide. Uh, I looked at it. And I thought I wanted to get the wider one because of, you know, me. <laughs> it also has a, a pillow on this, well, like a, a raised area where your head can go. So that's uh, one thing that helps out. Funny thing is, though, Trekology sell a pillow, a camping one that you can um, inflate. Oh, it's done. There you go. Just like that. Um, they sell uh, a pillow that you blow up. It has a strap on the back that you can attach to a sleeping pad. But they don't fit around that. I tried. So I don't. Um, I don't know if it fits around their smaller one, but it doesn't fit around this. You can see it's all nice and inflated. I don't know what that is on the end there. Uh, I might have to look into that. Oh, it could be dribble. Ugh, I'm sorry. Sorry you had to see that. Um, but yeah, so it's as you can see, it's nice and wide. It's about 15, 15 or so centimeters thick. It's uh, a nice thick mat, and uh, we'll just go and shove this in the uh, in the land shan, and I'll show you how it fits in there as well. Okay, as you can see, it's in. There is a little gap up there, so you won't have to worry about your head pressing against the uh, against the uh, the fly. Oh, I had to get in. I absolutely love this tent. I absolutely love this mat. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't say no. I just had to get in. Um, so basically, this 
on its site is rated up to 135 kilos. Now I'm a little bit more than that and I've used it numerous times with no incident. You know, touch wood, if there is any wood in here, I don't think there is. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's got the raised part. Uh, so it's very cozy, it's very nice. It's, uh, it's a little bit, you know, makes a bit of noise, but anything's gonna do that. Doesn't really make much, you know, and as long as you know you're quite a deep sleeper like me, I can I'd miss the end of the world when I'm gone. So <laughs> yeah, um I hope you guys uh well like it. Um if you have any questions about this particular mat, please leave them in the comments and uh I will get back to you. Excuse the like 50 trillion chins. Uh, it was 60 trillion, so we're getting there. Um and, and like I say, if this is what you're into, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.